Hi everyone, just a quick mail call and unboxing video here to show you all, hopefully, how to properly pack a Commodore PET for shipment. I received these two boxes today from Wayne Sander, which should hopefully collectively contain a Commodore Super Pet. 130 pounds, and the other one here 20 pounds. I asked him to separate the monitor and ship that in a separate box, and he agreed that seemed like a good idea. I'll start with the heavier of the two boxes, which is the shorter one. This should contain the main pet chassis base. There's a letter in here from Wayne. Bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. All around the side. It's wrapped up in all directions around the pet here. This bag here has the parts of what's left of the fuse holder. It is missing a couple of keys. Tape holding it together here. Holding it closed. Bubble wrap on the inside to keep it from shifting around. Need some work. Rest assured there will be another video on this soon. This is the monitor connector. Bubble wrap. We're missing one, two screws in the back here. And now the other box. Stuffed in around the sides. Mine is face down right now. monitors come off quite easily actually and it always seemed to me that it would be much safer to ship the monitor separately when it's attached to the pet it's top heavy and it's bound to flex and move around a lot and of course all this space in front of the monitor and above the keyboard is all void space that you'll have to fill with padding.
you just have these four nuts here underneath the monitor that hold the monitor to the base. And this cable here just runs up through the opening there and connects to the monitor PCB. I can tell from looking at the front of the screen that we didn't have a break on the neck, but open it up here anyway, see what it looks like on the inside. And in here, you can reattach the monitor cable here. CRT neck looks fine. These two resistors are here, 752 and 753 are prone to burning out. They do look a little toasty. The fuse hold is broken. Needs a good cleaning. But there's no damage that wasn't there before it was shipped. So shipping a pet has always been rather scary to me because there's so much potential for damage and I've seen it happen to others so many times. But if you pack it well, it's perfectly safe. Stay tuned for a full video on the restoration coming soon. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.